Welcome to the Digital Learning Tools Contract Review Video Tutorial Series. In this video, learn how to sort, search, and filter digital learning tools that have gone through the contract review process or are currently in progress. The contract review process is a thorough investigation including all major departments in WCSD to ensure that the digital learning tool is safe for students, academically appropriate, and respects the privacy of students under federal laws such as FERPA, SIPA, and COPA. This page of digital learning tools helps educators to be aware of what tools are approved or rejected with students. On this page, you see a list of all the digital learning tools represented by boxes that contain the name of the tool, an icon to represent the tool if available, a description in a text box, along with restrictions if applicable, a Learn More button, and categories the tool is classified under. On this page, you can read a brief description of the tool to understand what it is. Just below the description is Usage Restriction. This directs how the tool can be used with students based on the terms of service and privacy policy communicated by the provider of the tool. It is imperative to abide by the restrictions as stated. In the future, the Learn More button will direct educators to a resource page contained in the 21 CLD Handbook, providing more details about the tool including links how to use the tool and classroom integration. It also contains a list of how the tool supports the learning practices identified with 21st Century Learning. Now, let us take a look at how you can arrange the boxes. You can sort the tools alphabetically, going from left to right, or sort by submission date, with the oldest at the top and newest at the bottom. To search for a specific tool, select the box next to keywords and start typing the tool you are searching for. As you type in the keywords box, a digital learning tool box will appear to match to the characters. The Category box filters the list of tools by category for the digital learning tool. In this example, you can see all the tools that belong to the Interactive Presentations category. Use this method if you are searching for tools with a specific purpose to support digital learning. The last part of this page includes checkboxes to filter the list of the digital learning tool as approved, pending, or rejected. If a tool is approved, it contains restrictions, if applicable. These tools can be immediately used in the classroom, abiding by the restrictions as stated. If a tool is pending, it shows the current step of the process and department responsible. If a tool is rejected, it may not be used in Washoe County School District. Now you know how to filter, sort, and search for a specific tool in the WCSD approved Digital Learning Tools page. In the next video, you will learn how to ensure students are safe when using digital learning tools.